everyone. Hope you're okay. So this is a devotion today from uh, the hallway in our house actually. And it's deliberately here because I wanted to just show you the advent uh, calendar that Justin created. He talked about this in his last devotion. It wasn't up and now it's up in its full glory. You can see it hanging day by day. And you know, the, the, the point about these advent calendars is there's treats inside, but there's also a Bible verse uh, sharing the story of the birth of Jesus. And I wanted to bring day nine because this verse has just triggered some thoughts I wanted to share with you. I know we're not quite there, so I've not eaten the treat, but I want to read the verse. And the verse is from Luke 2, verse 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no room available for them. And I was thinking about the innkeeper. And in the, in the Bible, there isn't actually a reference to him saying, sorry, there's no room in the inn, but we've just taken that in our nativity. But actually, what this is the reference to Jesus being born primarily in what we think is a cattle shed. And, um, do you know, it just struck me that whilst it must have been so hard for the innkeeper or the owner of the guest house that Mary and Joseph went to to say there is no room what he did do is he gave them the space the, the all he had but he gave it to them to use and he made a thought that's really quite poor that's not what they need and um, that's but it's all I have but you know it brought forth the prophecy didn't it and actually Jesus was born in the manger and placed in the manger and I wanted to say to you today do you know I like the innkeeper actually if you don't feel what you have is worth giving or you feel it's a bit insignificant you think I can't that, that's all I have but I can't give that do you know what I want you to be courageous and step out and, and be generous and give that because you don't know how God's going to use what you offer for him and I'm sure there were many people who came from the guest house. I was just thinking particularly of the women who were there, who maybe assisted Mary and helped her in the delivery of Jesus. And again, they came and helped her. They brought her clo cloth and water. So I want to encourage you in this season to give, to give generously. But you know, don't worry if you think what you have isn't very good or is not what actually... Um, I should really give because I haven't got that. That's okay. You know, give to God what you have and he will, he will use you and use your gift and use your generosity and bless you. So, happy Christmas. I know it's a bit soon, but we're all getting very giddy, aren't we? And it's just a wonderful celebration of the birth of Jesus, our Saviour. So, we're only on the day six in the Advent calendar. But uh, I just want you to think of this Bible verse for day nine and be blessed. See you soon.